Hi there Paint Shop Pro users, welcome to my site and welcome to this video tutorial. This is a video tutorial on dodging and burning. Now normally you would do and dodge and burn using these tools here on the toolbar. Right here, dodge, burn, dodge, burn. We're not going to use them, so we can move this off the way. We're going to use this, the brush tool. So I can just take this and hide it somewhere. What we're going to do is use some layers, use some blend modes, and that'll be fun and very effective. So, we're going to start off. Well, first I have to apologize for having this picture in portrait mode. I took it in portrait mode. I didn't realize I was going to be using it for a tutorial to try and uh, remedy my poor photography. Actually, it was a, an incredible day the day I took this. It was uh, just the difference between uh, fall and winter. It was cold. It was windy. You can see the tree is leaning to the left, at least that way. And uh, uh, there are dark clouds and there's brilliant blue sky. The lake was dark. The foreground was brilliant green. Um, when I got home and downloaded it, I was really quite disappointed with it, so now I have my opportunity to fix it. So, let's do some layering. This is really quite simple and really good. Now, I want to make a copy of this background layer, so I'm just going to right-click on it and hit Duplicate. Now, I'm going to open this up a bit here. Now, I'm going to change the blend mode between these. Blend mode really is how does the top layer uh, react with the layer underneath it. and We're going to change it to multiply and that's going to darken this whole picture up. See? Look at that. Bada boom, bada bing. It's really dark. Uh, let's get this guy out of the way. So, that's really too dark. You know, it's, it's as bad as the original was, only the other way. So, we're going to add another layer. Actually, I'm going to add three layers. They are soft light layers. And soft light layers contain 50% gray. If you paint on a soft light layer with white, it makes the whole thing lighter. If you paint with black, it makes it blacker. Or darker, I guess the word is. So I'm going to add three, and I'm going to stop this, because if I don't stop this and do it, I'm going to run out of time. So I'm actually going to pause it. So hang on there. Hi, I'm back. Okay, I've made two of the layers. I've made the tree and the sky and lake layer. I'm going to make one more, and that is going to be a new raster layer. I'm going to call it foreground. And that is the sound of typing, and I even spelled it right. And soft light, okay. And you can see each one of these is called soft light, soft light, soft light, and this thing here is your opacity for the layer. So I'm going to move this guy off. I'm going to start on the tree, move this off to the side, and we'll we'll get going if I can move the darn thing. My computer is so slow. Okay, so normally. Always, when you use a soft light layer, you want your foreground colors to be black and white. If they're not black and white, just tap on that thing right there. Well, I'm using a tablet. I always say tap, but click on it. I'm using a, a Wacom Intuos tablet. So I am going to work on the tree with white. So as I said earlier, if you're on a soft light layer and you paint with white, it gets lighter. And I've got my brush variant set to opacity, which means the harder I press, the darker it'll get. The lighter I press, the lighter the opacity will be. Okay, so let's just start. You can see it coming up there. It's just nicely bringing it back. It's getting some of the detail in the tree now. And you don't want to go too far, but if you do, eh, you can throw the layer away and start over again with a new layer. Now let's see how that comes when my computer catches up to my pen strokes here. And we'll get up in there, around the edges. There, now the tree is a bit more like I remember it. Now I'm going to zoom in on the trunk, because there is detail in this trunk. And let's move it up. Come on, come on computer, let's go. Okay, my brush is too big, press the Alt button, put the pen on the tablet and slide it up, and start working the trunk. See that trunk is start coming? Now if you make a boo-boo and do this, Ah, oh, that's a no-no. You can't do that. It looks awful. So you got to undo. Now, I'm going to get a couple of these limbs. You can actually see detail in this one. The other one above it, you can't see detail in. But we'll do it anyways, just because we're there. And we have the technology, as they say. Okay, and, and when you're in here, if you've got the time, which you'd have, which I don't, you can get in here and just get all these little thingies that, that you didn't get when you went, first went over it. Okay, so let's back out a bit here and see how our tree is coming along now. Ah, that's okay. Now I could work up in here, but I don't have time to do what I'm doing, okay? 
So now I'm going to go on to the next layer, sky and lake. Now I want to darken the sky and the lake, so I'm going to switch my, my uh, materials palette over to black. Come on out. Make it bigger. I'm hurrying now, okay? This is called hurrying. Now, just come in around the blue, because it was brilliant blue. And around the edges of the tree. In through there. Now I've just blackened up those bits of the tree that I did earlier. Now we'll wait for the old computer to catch up. There you see those clouds over here? Now they've got some character to them. They look like they mean business, and they did on that day. Okay, we're blackening up this part. You can actually see clouds way over in the horizon that had, uh, ah, they were kind of a ambery, goldy color from the, from the sun. It's really a dramatic day. There. I messed up that part. Okay, so now the sky is a bit better. Now I'm just going to do a quick run across the lake here trying not to do my tree again. That's probably a bit too much on the lake, but you know, I don't have time to fix it. You understand what I'm saying, right? Okay, so now I'm going to go on to the foreground. And you can see these layers, how they look. There's white here, there's black all around there. Now we're going to go to the foreground, and we're going to lighten it. So I have to go back to white as my foreground color on the, the materials palette and just lightly go across here. You can actually see detail in these stones as, as, it, gets, uh, as it gets lighter. There we go. Now fix up the areas that I missed. Well, you know, when I get a faster computer, we'll have a big Paint Shop Pro celebration. There. Actually, I have this really, really fast chip and I have no idea how to build a computer, so I'm just waiting. And I know someone's going to come along and say, hey, I can fix that for you. There we go. And I want to go back to the sky and the lake and just get around the tree, because I messed that up a bit. Which I know you don't believe that I messed it up, but you know, I did. I'm only human. See, it's a bit light here. Okay, let's go back to there. And just darken that up a bit. There. Okay, so that's dodging and burning. We've got three layers. Actually, we've got four layers, if you count them, not including the background layer. Ooh, not good. And now you can go back and you can, whoops, I, I'm on the wrong layer here. There we go. You can go back and you can, oh, geez, yeah, go the wrong way, right? Go the wrong way. There, now I've got white. So this is more like the, the image when I took it, as opposed to uh, that flat, yucky thing I had earlier. There. Oh, just meant there. Now, doesn't that look better? I think it does. So there you go. That's dodge and burn. And and I'm the lake's wrong. I should have made my own layer for a lake and and worked at that um, a bit more. But there's just not enough time to do all that. Here's our layers. Now that it's all finished, said and done. Background. Copy the background. Tree, sky, and lake, and foreground. You can see white, black and white in all the three areas and you can do as many layers as you want with this soft light it's an incredible tool you can do this uh, you can use soft light in so many different places on your paint shop pro projects if i can say it and uh, you'll be really happy with the results so there you go that's some dodging and burning not using the dodging and burning tools and uh, give it a try you'll really like it see if you can and, and another thing i'm going to do a, a tutorial on this too if you change the blend mode to screen instead of multiply, you'll lighten it. So if you've got really one that's too dark, give it a screen blend mode. Suddenly your picture will be very light. So there you go. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your time. And uh, if you came into this video through YouTube, come and visit my site. You can see the text version um, of this tutorial there at www.the-graphics-tablet. And uh, just click on the Paint Shop Pro link and you'll end up there. Okay. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your time. See you later.